opportunity to tell you thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the donated goods that y'all gave to Mana for us to deliver. It was an amazing time to be able to go and bless families that don't normally get to get out of their house, to pray with them and just to let them know how much the Lord values them and loves them. So I just want to tell you thank you for making that possible. Hey guys, in less than two weeks, the long-awaited Winter Wonderland will be here. That's right, you've heard about it. I mean, the ice skating rink, the snow hill, the snowball fighting area, games, food, what more do you need? Hey guys, we're doing it as a church to reach out to our community. So don't just buy tickets for your family, get tickets for another family as well. So you can go out to the foyer and pick those up today and let us tell our community the true meaning of Christmas. Yeah, because there's people who may never come to a church to hear a guy like this sing on Sunday morning, but they would come to an ice skating rink. Uh, what was that comment about singing? I, I don't know. I, I, sometimes I black out when I speak the truth. I just It just comes out of me. Hey guys, we just want to let all you old people know out there. In, wait, in case you didn't know what old was. Hey, Pastor Allen, come here. <laughs> <laughs> That's real funny. I'm not old. Let me show you what old is. Brother K, come on in here. <laughs> this is what old is. <laughs> I want to invite all of the uh, older folks that are in Seniors on the Move to come with us to Bellingrath Gardens. We're going to leave uh, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon on the 18th of December. But you need to sign up and pay your money in the foyer. Uh, either this Sunday or next Sunday in order for us to get the discount. We'll be carpooling, so we'll have another meeting to decide who's going to drive and who's going to ride. So sign up and go with us. Thank you. We all have scars, and every scar that we have has a story. And not everybody wants to tell their story. It's too hurtful, it's too painful, it's too embarrassing, or it's too revealing. But there are stories of healing, of hope, that are enlightening and inspiring. If you have a story about your scars and how God brought you through it, other people need to read about it. So write down your story in 500 to 1500 words and send it to cat at rlministry.org. Don't let your scars define you. Let your story of hope bring life to others. What, man? Moses, Moses got manna from heaven. I get snow from heaven. It worked for BJ. It could work for me. Hey guys, next Sunday night at 6 p.m. in the main auditorium, we're having our Winter Wonderland meeting. I know you're saying to yourself right now, that meeting is for somebody else. Ho, ho, contraire, sir. This meeting is for you. If you're helping with the booth, if you're leading with the booth, if you think you might want to help with a booth, you need to be there. You want to be in security, you need to be there. You want to help in any way with Winter Wonderland, you need to know what's going on, so you need to be there. Next week, we'll be talking about our game plan and different things that we're doing, so you need to be there so you know what's going on. See you there. Lord, let it snow on me. <laughs> <laughs>